All right, I'm back, and I bet you this is not what you were expecting to see on your screen for my next break. Uh, I went to the card shop the other day, and I was just bored. Bored. I, I didn't feel like opening NXT. I know I have half a case left to open of NXT. I still have boxes of my BBM wrestling. I just wanted something different. I still have wrestling, so I grabbed one fully loaded, but I asked the shop owner, like, what type of stuff is it where you, there's, like, just one one card or one auto inside or stuff like that of something different? Now, oh, this is going to drive me crazy. Oh, okay. I'm just going to tip Walking Dead back, even though there's a really bad glare on it, unless I can block the glare. Um... Yeah, I just started walking around the shop because he's got so much old product in there and so many different things. I'm not a big sports guy. So for me, baseball, basketball, football, soccer, all of that stuff in there, I, I would have fun breaking it, but I would have no idea what I'm grabbing. UFC is basically gone unless I'm going to crank out way too much money for a panini box. So I just started picking up random stuff, and the shop owner started showing me just random stuff that was on the shelf. Um, one of them, and he didn't even show me this one. I saw it, and I can't believe of the years I've been going there, I never even noticed this. But there's a Leaf, Leaf Living Legend Pat, Pete Rose box. Now, the reason I grabbed it is because Pete Rose is a WWE Hall of Famer, so that goes into my wrestling, but... I would love to have a Pete Rose auto. And I know in these things, it is one autographed Pete Rose card per box or one Pete Rose autographed memorabilia redemption card. If I get a redemption card inside this, I'm going to be really pissed. Because this box is from like 2000... I don't even know what year it's from. It's so small on there. I think it's like 2013 or something like that for this, so... Yeah, I'm hoping there's no redemption inside of this, or I'm going to be really pissed, and I'm going to contact Leaf and say, hey, what the hell? The shop has, like, about 20 of these Pete Rose boxes. They're on, like, this back shelf in the corner beyond the Japanese Juicy Honey boxes, which I almost bought, too, but I didn't, because then I would have to do a whole different video. Um, I also grabbed... These just came out in the last week or two. This is Taiwan League Baseball. Taiwan baseball cards, um, usually there's a set with all the teams, but the, um, the brothers team, this is called the brothers. Every team is run here by like a company. Like it's kind of like in Japan as well. The name of the team is usually connected to whatever group are the backers for it or the owners for it. Um, these guys are owned by the China trust banking company. So they're super ass rich. So they have their own baseball cards. I bought a couple packs last year, and they were really nice. They're really nice cards. Um, yeah, there's autos, there's relics and stuff like that in them. You can buy them as individual packs, or you can buy them in these packs of five, and they're really not that expensive. So I just kind of figured I'd open some Taiwan League baseball just, just to see what the cards are like and to see what's inside. Like, it's just something different. And then there's this multi-sport superstar slabs where it's one slabbed buyback rookie or star per card. Some are autos, some aren't autos. I just, I don't know. I saw a few of them getting opened in there, and they looked kind of cool, and I have no idea what I could hit inside there. I really was heading in there. I was going to get the Leaf um, Sport Kings, which has been sitting on the shelf for like six or seven years, and suddenly somebody bought them like two weeks ago. So that's out. So we're going to go with this one. Um, there was like a, um, like a Major League Baseball one. I can't remember the name of it, though, where it's like one slabbed auto per box. And there's either the current or retired players. The current player ones are all sold out, but the retired player ones, he has the boxes all the way back to 2018 for those. I was going to get some of those ones, but then I kind of thought I'll mix stuff up where I've got... Pete Rose, Taiwan Baseball, Multisport. I grabbed one of the encased auto Walking Dead boxes and one fully loaded box. Um, 
depending on how long we go on this one, I don't know if I should open all of these or not. I kind of feel like doing the front ones, the, the sports ones first. And then maybe in the next one, I'll do a quick one where we do The Walking Dead and we do the WWE. So I'm going to pull those ones out and we're going to go at sports. Sports that I don't watch that often, but what the hell, why not? So we have the guaranteed slab. We have the guaranteed leaf auto of Pete Rose. So I kind of really want to get into these Taiwan League baseball cards. I've been here 16 years. I've always wanted to go to a game, but I never find people that want to go to the games or I've just never been able to get to the games, but it's a pretty big deal here to go to the games. Now, like I said, these are really, really nice cards. Wherever they have them printed, I've been looking into trying to print cards here and I really want to know where they print these ones. So they even have the thing on the back for the Brothers cards, right? Brothers Baseball Club, they have their own cards. They're the 2021 cards, but that's this year coming out with cards with all the photos from last year and stuff like that. But they are, you can see, they are super nice cards. Nice gloss to them. There's some really, really nice special ones in there as well. You've got like the you've got your regular like team member team member ones. Memorable moments are like the ones that are like the shiny and the flat one on them like that. I remember these ones from last year. Really, really cool looking on those ones. Um, theme review. I'm not sure what that card is supposed to be. Brothers card theme review. I'm going to have to ask about that one at the shop. Um, the elephants, that's another team. I'm pretty sure that's a... That's it. I thought the elephants was a Japanese team, but I might be wrong on that one, but... It could be somebody who's come from another team to the brothers team on that one. That's a nice one. That's more like a chrome style on that card there. TXG. See, some of that, like I said, I this is a whole new thing for me to be opening right now. So it's we're just kind of looking at how awesomely cool these cards are. There's another one where it's like you've got the flat and the matte finish on that one, which is really, really, really nice. That one says an ace card on it. Oh, ace batter card for that one. Anybody who's a baseball fan, like to me, this would just be something cool. There's a spacer inside of some of them. This would just be a cool thing to have. That's a few more of the, the roster cards. As you can tell, the roster cards all kind of have the same look. It's got their stats on the back and stuff like that. Like, anybody who's a baseball fan, and honestly, these are not expensive. Like, these are a cool pickup to have as just something something to have in your collection that's different. Like, the fact, Japanese, there's a lot of Japanese baseball in the shop as well. But the Taiwan baseball ones, they come out with the Brothers one. I think there's another team that's been taken over by a pretty big company, and they're going to have their own cards soon as well. And then there's also, um, the, it's funny, in about a month I'll be breaking some of these just for fun, but the Brothers team actually has cheerleader cards for the sisters, as they call them, and they have exactly the same thing. You can buy cards which is all featuring the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders, and it's going to sound weird, but the cheerleaders for the Brothers are cute. They're all really young looking and they're really cute. There's another team that has way better cheerleaders. And Taiwan basketball cards here that just came out about a month and a half ago. They have autos in the basketball ones, but they also have the cheerleader autos in those ones, which a lot of people were buying the basketball ones like crazy because they wanted to get the cheerleader cards. Kind of like the dancing heroin cards from the Japanese, if you know those ones. All right, let's look through what we've got here. Roster card number 27. Roster card number 47. Memorable Moments card. That's one of the cool shiny and matte finish ones that we have there. Uh, theme review. I've got to find out what this theme review thing is. Like, this is obviously one of their guys, but it looks like he's dressed up for his military service. Yeah. And if you don't know, Taiwan, Taiwan males do military service like after the age of 18 for like I think six months to a year I think that's going away now but 
with a certain neighbor to us going a little bit crazy lately. I think the military service thing might be coming back in, but um, there we go. Brothers rookie card. That's a nice one. Rookie card for number three. Looks like we've got a chrome style puzzle card. That's cool. Like a puzzle card to put together a larger card of like either one or multiple ones. Yeah, that's a really cool one. I like that one. All right. Another one of the base. Number 76. Base number 85. And back to 27 and 47. Now, I'm not expecting, like, I think every box, I think the owner was saying every box shipped out of these has 300 packs in a box. And he got, like, 10 boxes. And I think... The average out of 300 packs is something like 25 or 30 autos, maybe. I think about 25 autos, I'm not sure. But not a lot, so it's not expected. But if you buy a five pack, you do have a better chance of getting an auto or some type of a relic or something like that in it. Another memorable moments one. Nice cards. I really... I, I'm not into baseball. I want to go see a game here. I just, I would really, really, really like to. Is that the same one that we had in the other one? Nope, different one for that Elephants Brothers thing. All right. It could be that the Elephants is the old name of the Brothers team when they were owned by somebody else and they may have switched the name. I'm, I'm going to have to find that out about this. But these are cool cards. Team card with three different players on it. That's a nice one. Team card on the back there. All right. Player of the Year Annual Awards. All right. Outfielder. I, I know that just because it says OF on it. So, Outfielder. That must be like a special game. Special game that they were wearing that one on there. So, um, Taiwan Series roster lighted up. I don't know. I guess that's a different roster card there. That would be Jose Valdez. Uh, Taiwan's usually got a few foreign players brought in to play on the different teams. And trust me, the brothers have the money to be able to bring in some of these guys. So um, I think that's Jose Valdez there again. Yep, yeah, there we go. Number 97, Jose Valdez. Uh, number 48, the picture. Pitcher. Um... Name is U C U. Oh, I didn't even see that on there. Uh, that one's Jong. Um, I don't see that one. Uh, that's Wong. Yeah. Okay. So they do have some of the names on these ones. I didn't notice the names on the back because most of it's just all written in Mandarin anyway. So I didn't really look for that other than the foreign guy because. But here, people do take Chinese names. I have a Chinese name. When I got married, I had to have a Chinese name for the official documents and stuff like that. So most people will take a Chinese name. Um, mine's, mine's stupid, though, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, it's just my, it's just my, it's, it's just Chinese version of my last name and my wife's, like, her, my wife's name. That's all it is. All right, regular roster, infielder, regular roster, a little bit of stuff on the side of the cards there. Another of the nice memorable moments cards. Team card. That's exactly the same team card from the last one, isn't it? I got a double. I only opened five packs and I got a double already. All right, there's another puzzle card. I'm guessing the puzzle cards, maybe there's different puzzles to put together. I don't know if it's going to be the same puzzle. Where's my other puzzle card? I'm just quickly rifling to find my other puzzle card. Um, I don't see it. It's in there somewhere. We'll put the puzzle card aside because we'll see what the puzzle, if that's the same puzzle or if there's multiple puzzle cards that I need to be able to put together. So I'm going to put that down in a different pile. Um, an attitude card. All right. Ace batter named Shu. All right. There we go. Like, you can't tell me that these aren't sick looking cards. Whoever designs these cards, like, God, I would love to hire them to design some cards for me. These are slick looking cards. 
And again, for the price, these are really slick looking cards. These are made for the fans. These are not made that like China Trust Banking does not need money. So these are made so the fans can collect. You can buy these at 7-Eleven here too. I've seen them in the 7-Eleven shops right up by the right up by the cash register so kids can buy them when they're in there. And they're not like I keep saying they're not expensive. They are not expensive at all compared to what we pay for stuff in North America from Tops, Panini, and Upper Deck and stuff like that. All right, annual awards, most hits. Most hits. I don't see the name on that one, though. All right, I see the Chinese name. I don't see the English version of it on that one. It's a nice card. Matte finish with just the, the nice. It's embossed, too. It's really, really cool. All right, memorable moments pitching card. All right, there's the spacer. I don't know why they have these Jumanji cards. I gotta find that out. When I go to the shop this week, I'm gonna ask them what the hell this theme review thing is. Unless it's like, maybe, all right, there's another puzzle card. I gotta put that down with my other puzzle card and see if these puzzle pieces go together nicely. Maybe. And I'm just guessing, when they have graduation and yearbooks and all sorts of stuff like that here, the kids, they, they wear they wear costumes here. Even when you're older, like, there'll be, there'll be books where kids are dressed up like soldiers and kids are dressed up like princesses and they're holding teddy bears. And that's not even just kindergarten. That's like grade five, grade six and up. Like, they... They have to have a theme to everything in their photos here. And maybe that's what this is. Maybe this... Maybe because they're all wearing the camouflage one, they gave them this Jumanji thing or something like that. I don't know. Alright, Taiwan Series roster. Outfielder of yeah. Outfielder Huang. Pitcher is Takano Kasuki. So he's obviously come over from Japan to play for here. Okay, so that's our five that's our that's five packs right there five packs cost me about 15 bucks us not too bad if you like baseball cards and you want to have this type of thing in your collection or you just want something different in your collection it's a pretty nice product to get and they're thick cards like they're they're really solid feeling cards. These are not cheaply made baseball cards at all. Uh, there's my other puzzle piece card. So I got three puzzle pieces. All right, yeah, three puzzle pieces, lots of different theme cards and rookie cards and stuff like that. So the puzzle, okay, so those two puzzle pieces go together perfectly right there. That's pretty easy. And no maybe that one goes there i think i've got the upper piece because it looks like that will match the shirt there yeah i'm assuming that's where we're that's where we're at so far with our puzzle so i might need to get more packs just because i want to put a puzzle together i like puzzles okay so no autos nothing nothing special like that but still just really really cool looking cards for anybody that collects different cards and baseball cards and things like that like i said that's kind of a cool thing to have so what do we do do we do pete rose and then i think we'll do pete rose then we'll do the slab because the slab is like a buyback it's basically like a leaf thing and so we'll crack into leaf first we'll see what leaf is going to give us here with pete rose and then we'll see what this super break superstar slabs buyback slabbed card thing is that we have there so okay so we have okay so the pete rose auto i'm just gonna put it down on top here i'm not gonna look at it because i don't want to know which one it is so we're gonna just put this here beside blunt man on that side and it's a ton of pete so these are all like was leaf bored or was somebody smoking something like seriously they they made an entire set. Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Pete Rose. <laughs> Pete Rose. <laughs> Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Oh, I was going to say, it looks like he's just at home drinking, but I, it looks like he's got a trophy there. Okay, this is hilarious. 
Like, this is killing me. I... I can't say... I, oh my god. I just wanted a Pete Rose Auto. And honestly, the, the price of these isn't that bad at all. So, I'm... I just... I wanted a Pete Rose Auto for my collection. But there's a good chance I'm going to buy more of these. It'd be funny to go into a break for these. Because usually you go into a break where you pick a name or pick a number. Or pick a letter of the alphabet for the auto. But there would be no picking anything because it's just... Pete Rose. Oh, that's like... Pete Rose hanging out, being cool. Pete Rose. Pete Rose reading a newspaper. Pete Rose swinging a bat. Pete Rose running. Pete Rose, I don't know, talking about a fish that he caught. <laughs> Pete Rose either banging off gang signs or he's showing what it's like to hold a bat. Oh, these. this kills me. This may be the greatest thing that I've ever cracked. Hi, right. Pete Rose. I'm guessing there's an there's something on the back. Oh yeah, Pete Rose. Cincinnati Reds. Pete Rose connects with the ball. His first time at bat at Shea Stadium in New York on July 25th, 1979. Okay, so there's an actual story behind each one of these cards. All right, um, Pete Rose yelling at an invisible man. Pete Rose so drunk that he cannot go up to bat. <laughs> uh, Pete Rose forgetting how to pray. <laughs> Pete Rose in the Special Olympics. I don't know. Uh, Pete Rose with a really, really bad haircut. Actually, I don't know. What's worse? Like the shaggy Pete Rose or like the the, the, the nice clipped Pete Rose? What's the, what's the actual story on this one? Um, with snow falling outside the Fenwick Club gym in Cincinnati, Pete Rose, the Reds' ace switch hitter and outfielder, has worked hard, determined to be in shape when he reports to manager Dave Bristol. Rose has not reported yet due to salary differences between himself and the ball club. Okay, I thought they were going to talk about his haircut, but okay. That's more about that he was holding the team up for a better contract? I don't know. Okay. What do we have here? The hell is that? Pete Rose shooting lightning bolts from his fingers at a Kiss concert. I don't know. That's just what I get out of that one. Uh, Pete Rose jacking the hubcaps off of a car with his son. Pete Rose swinging the bat again. Uh, Pete Rose probably, I would guess, selling. He, he's probably like selling tickets outside the stadium. Uh, Pete Rose telling the little kid to get the hell out of his way. Uh, Pete Rose trying his best to look like Ringo Starr. <laughs> I don't know. And back to Pete Rose shooting lightning bolts out of his finger at a Kiss concert. I like that card. That card's going up here. I kind of hope that that's my auto card. If I have an autographed card of Pete Rose shooting lightning bolts out of his fingers, I will be great. Okay, Pete Rose, the first day he learned he had lice. <laughs> Pete Rose trying to hide all of his hair under a hat. And look how bulging the hat is. It's like a freaking marshmallow on his head. All right. Pete Rose double-checking that he's wearing the right helmet. Or Pete Rose still has lice and they're under the helmet now. All right. Pete Rose looking like he's been to McDonald's a few too many times. Uh, Pete Rose, once again, too drunk to go to bat. And Pete Rose looks like he's biting the end of his tongue off trying to catch a ball. Okay, oh, and back to the lice one. God, how many packs of Pete Rose are there? This is insane. I should have just cut these ones all open. All right, Pete Rose, the lice have returned. Pete Rose trying to figure out which bat has a number on the end of it. Pete Rose once again drinking on the job. <laughs> Pete Rose dancing after drinking on the job. What is that one? Leaps onto home plate as it scores the winning run in the 10th inning of their National League game with the San Francisco Giants at Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati in 1985. Once again, Pete Rose using the bat as a drunken crutch. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun with these cards. I. Pete Rose wasn't even running the bases, just decided to slide into a base for fun, and this guy is confused as hell. Once again, he's either confused or the lice have returned, 
And maybe he's confused because he's trying to figure out which bat has the number two on the end of it. I don't know. Alright, for I apologize for this. If you're a Pete Rose fan, you're probably hating me for this stuff right now. Okay, a young Pete Rose pretending to swing the bat. Pete, <laughs> Pete Rose pretending to be a turtle? I don't know. <laughs> Again, Pete Rose posing with the bat. Pete Rose, <laughs> as if he can hear my comments about his cards, just shaking his head and wondering how, why the hell did I buy this box? Okay, uh, Pete Rose diving for a ball that is not there. Pete Rose doing some type of dance. I don't even know. That looks like the Brooklyn slide. And his helmet fell off because he didn't do it properly. All right. Three more packs. I promise that the Pete Rose jokes are going to go away very, very soon. They have to. I, even I'm starting to run out of stuff. All right. A lot of people in white watching Pete Rose. It's like he's playing baseball in front of the, the KKK. Um, again, I don't see a ball, but he's jumping for a ball. <laughs> Somebody gave him a newspaper and he's trying to figure out, well, what's all these little marks on this thing for? Sorry, I like to make fun of sports people sometimes. I think he's swinging a bat, but you can't really see the bat. But yeah, it's either that or he's doing like the, the Mortal Kombat death attack to somebody. All right, Pete Rose answering a whole bunch of questions, probably most of them asking him why is he wearing a train conductor's hat. I don't know. All right, Pete Rose uh, tipping the hat, giving some air to the lice while he's out there on the, on the field, and back to the game for the KKK. Two more. I'm buying another one of these. I am. I'm having too much fun with this one. Okay, Pete Rose looks like he is falling backwards from drinking too much during that game. There's the young Pete Rose one again. Pete Rose swinging the bat. Pete Rose again swinging the bat. You know what? With that hair and that face, he looks like an old version of Danny Torrance from The Shining. It really does. Like he should be talking to that bat and the bat should be like, red rum, red rum, while it talks back to him. He does. Look at that face. That is a grown-up Danny Torrance. You can tell I watched The Shining recently. All right. Pete Rose looking all serious, swinging the bat. Pete Rose showing off that he just woke up and came to play baseball because that's the worst case of bedhead I've ever seen. All right. Last pack. I hope that people are still watching this because this is just, yeah. All right. Pete Rose doing a funky drunken dance on the field. Oh, yeah. Young Pete Rose throwing up gang signs. All right, Pete Rose getting down there, hoping that that ball does not bounce past his glove and slap him in the nuts. Okay, drunk Pete Rose at home, drinking out of one of his championship trophies. Pete Rose swinging the bat at what looks like a hard-boiled egg. And Pete Rose running, trying to see if he can get his hair as crazy as possible because maybe he just washed it. And back to Pete Rose doing his drunken dance. Okay, so we have a crap ton of Pete Rose cards. All right, how many cards was it? Should have said 10 packs per box, six cards per pack. Okay, I have six. I just made up 60 freaking pack Pete Rose jokes. I should, I'm going to need a rest after this. All right, so we have a Pete Rose auto. I don't know if they're numbered. I don't know if they're on card. I guess they're sticker because it's leaf, but it already comes in its own top loader, which is nice. So, oh, we have the, that's the Ringo Starr one. That's nice. I have a Pete Rose Ringo Starr autograph. Yep, it's a sticker auto, but it's still cool. It's a Pete Rose auto from leaf. Unnumbered. I don't know. Maybe they did numbers on these ones. Maybe they didn't do numbers on these ones. I may have to open up one or two more packs of these just to see what they're like, but yeah. That's a pretty cool box. I, I had fun with that one because it's just crazy that they would come out with a box of just one guy. And that guy being Pete Rose, who's not allowed in the Hall of Fame because of his gambling tendencies and stuff like that. But I still, I hope there's an auto for this one. That one will be sick. Because whatever that is in his hand, I have no idea. But it seriously looks like he's shooting lightning out of his finger. 
Okay, we're on to our last one. Superstar Slabs Multisport made in the USA. One slabbed buyback rookie or star per box. So I don't know. I guess some of these are autographed. Some of these are not. Find the greatest buybacks from the top stars of sports. I was going to buy, before I open this and show you guys what's in it, I was going to buy one of the Japanese Infinity Boxes, which is the multi-sport Infinity Japanese ones, but the ones for this year sold out already. They have like Olympic stars, sumo stars, baseball, gymnastics, wrestling, MMA, everything. They're really cool boxes. I was going to buy one of the new ones, but they sold out like in the first week they came out here. So I went with this one instead. So, oh, it's, I thought I was going to pop it open and it was going to be just sitting right there like the leaf ones, but these are in like a black secret bag. Okay, so is that the top or the bottom? All right, so what's this? PA Professional Authenticator Sports, a collector's universe company. Oh, I don't want to look at the back because the back shows us what it is. Okay. Um, which, oh uh, yeah. All right, looks like we got a football card. We have a football Emmett Smith running back card from Fleer 1990. I know Emmett Smith. Mint 9 P. Oh, so PSA. God damn, I'm dumb. Okay, there was a sticker on this. I guess this is like buyback, like somebody had it done, and then that's like the price tag used to be on there. That's kind of nasty, but an Emmett Smith 1990 Fleer update card. I don't know what that, I don't know how good that is or what, but a nine, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at what it says on the back here. College born all that stuff for it so i'll have to look this one up and find out what year that is for him i don't think i don't know if it's a rookie card it'd be nice if it was a rookie card like an emmett smith like i said i'm not a big sports guy so there's probably a lot of hits in these boxes that i don't know what the hell they even are but an emmett smith emmett smith psa mint nine card that is that's a nice hit I would say, I don't know what the value would be compared to the price that I paid for it, but the price of these superstar slab sports boxes, they're not that, it's not that high. So I think that's pretty cool. That's a nice card. All right. So I'm going to leave because this has gone long and I know it's really fast to open these, but let's do these ones on another one because I'm tired and I'm thirsty and I need the bathroom. That's my whole three reasons right now. So We've opened three. We've opened the real sports ones. Then we're going to go into wrestling and Walking Dead on the next video. So Taiwan Brothers cards. Anybody's interested in those cards, let me know. I can get some of those. I can ship those things pretty much anywhere if you're interested in just getting some really cool baseball cards. Like I said, a pack of five of those is about 15 bucks. Um, shipping, I don't even know what the shipping would be. Shipping would probably be about... I would guess about 10 bucks for me to ship, but I could ship a lot more cards for about the same price. I would have to find out, but I could do that. Um, Living Legend Pete Rose cards. Honestly, if anybody's interested in getting a Pete Rose auto, um, I'll buy the box. I'll crack it on here for everyone to see, and then I'll ship the auto out because it would be it would be cool. Like, And it would be a lot cheaper for me to ship the auto out than it would be for me to ship out the box. So... And there are a lot of Pete Rose ones in the shop still, and I will be buying more because I want the lightning card. All right, and my cat is about to come into the screen, and she's going to be murdered in a second. Zola. Okay, yes, thank you so much. You know what? On the last video, somebody said we need cat videos. Hi. Are you here to help me? Hi. Hi. That's Zola. That's my youngest of six cats. She was rescued about four years ago, like very, very far down in Taiwan. We had to take a train, a tra we had to take like a bus, two different trains, and rent a motorcycle to get to where she was, like about three and a half hours from home to rescue her because of her condition. And she was basically near death and wasn't going to survive. 
And now she's here four years later driving me freaking crazy. And she's in good health. She has FIV, if anybody knows that, the feline version of the HIV virus, but it does not affect her at all. But she has seizures, so she is on special medication for seizures. So that's it. If anybody's on Facebook, um, you can always check out the Matt's Cats page. That is me with all of my rescue cats and everything we do with them. And Zola is featured on there. Can you get your big butt out of my way? Come with me. Okay. There we go. I would say Blunt Man and Chronic helped us out very well there. We've got our, like I said, we've got Pete Rose. We've got an Emmett Smith possible rookie card. I don't know. we got to look that one up. And a whole bunch of the Brothers cards. So... Um, anybody interested in any of these ones, Superstar Slabs cards, uh, Pete Rose cards, or the Brothers cards, hit me up in the comments. I can get back to you. You can always get to me through either Matt's Cats on Facebook or um, Taiwan Comic and Card Shop on Facebook as well. You can message me through there, and I can always break stuff, post a video on here, and send you out your hits, which I love doing for people. So. That's it for this video. I am done. I am tired. I got to get this cat some food and I will be back next video with that fully loaded and that walking dead and let's see what two slab cards we get out of those ones. So I'm just going to sign off quick here. Check for the next one. Anybody who knows anything about that Emmett Smith card, uh, let me know in the comments. Anybody wants any of these types of cards, also let me know in the comments and I will get back to you and we can work something out. All right. See you on the next video.